Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and I want to talk about the uh, three main paths that we take when rebuilding family heirloom pianos. We do a ton of rebuilding here. We've got a big shop. If you haven't taken a tour, come check it out. It's a pretty cool place. I personally could live here. I sometimes feel like I kind of do. So like I said, we do just a, a huge amount of rebuilding, and there's three main three main paths that, uh, that I want to talk about. Um, but before I do, I want to talk about the, the people that, that, that have us do these, this rebuilding. Um, the, the, the main reason that people have us rebuild the piano, the, probably 75%, may, maybe even more, of the people that have us do it. These are pianos that have been in the family for two, sometimes three, and occasionally even four generations. They've been passed down like, through the generations, and now the piano is completely shot and the idea is to make it last another generation or two or three. We just did one not too long ago that uh, it was kind of this, this man, he's in his mid to late 90s and it was kind of his dying wish that the piano that he grew up on last through his children, his grandchildren, he even had great grandchildren that he wanted to inherit his piano. So that's um, kind of the typical profile. From an economic standpoint, um, you can often find a brand new piano for less than it costs to, to rebuild a piano, but for, for all of this work that, that we do, uh, for all of these customers, that's not the point. The point isn't finding a brand new piano, it's finding this particular instrument and uh, rebuilding this particular instrument that was grandma's or great grandma's and bringing it back to life to last another few generations. The other profile of people that do this are people that have a certain aesthetic that they're looking for. Um, maybe they, maybe they, they have um, a specific idea of, of the look, or maybe they're even decorating their house to a specific period, and the piano is kind of the, um, is kind of the, the finishing touch, and, and they don't just want a beautiful piece of art that, that these pianos from this era often are, but they also want something that's going to function like a brand new piano. So these are people that that want a brand new piano. They have the budget for the brand new piano, or even a little bit more, depending on the scope of the project. Um, but they don't want a black shiny box, which is often how uh, pianos are manufactured uh, in the modern uh, era. Okay. So the three main paths that we take, one is the rebuild, the other is refurbish, and the third is a la carte. So the rebuild, that's the big one. Um, it's, it's essentially uh, wholesale replacement of all the major components. So new hammers, new hammer uh, shanks, new butts, or, or um, uh, shanks and flanges in the case of a grand, dampers, um, new bridle straps, new keys, new bushings, completely rebuilding all of the um, track work, which is everything having to do with the uh, pedals. Full, very, very, very thorough, thorough cleaning. They always come out grand or upright. Absolutely beautiful when we're done. When, when we first get them in, they're so filthy. Sometimes it's so thick, the dust and grime that you can literally peel it up. And it's not just the cleaning, but we soda blast everything so it's like fresh, brand new wood and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like it's, like it's brand new. Um, and then the rebuild, I don't know if I mentioned new strings and new tuning pins um, and, and other, other action parts like the hammer butts or the shanks, sometimes even the whippins depending on the scope of the project. We can, we can also replace um, major components such as the, such as the, uh, uh, the bridges, the, we do a lot of bass bridges, a lot of high treble bridges that we redo. Uh, we do a lot of soundboard work, uh, pin blocks. So major components, um, all of that is, is uh, part of the scope of the project when we do a rebuild. The next step down is what I refer to as a refurbish. So it's similar to the rebuild in that it's all inclusive. Everything top to bottom, without exception, we don't stop until the piano is absolutely incredible. Uh, from a from an aesthetic standpoint, from a functional standpoint, on the on the inside, the, the refinishing is handled separately um, in both cases. But uh, everything is is just we never miss. 
it, it always turns out incredible in the way it sounds, the way it plays, the way it looks on the inside, everything, and the, the longevity. Um, but it's different from the rebuild in that the, the refurbish more, we're, we're cherry picking the major components of, of the rebuild, such as the hammers and the dampers and the shanks, the full cleaning, the bushings, the keys, all of those are brand new. We, we do rebuild uh, the trap work, but uh, there are a lot of other components that are really strictly relegated to the domain of the, of the rebuild, like the, like the strings and the tuning pins and, and these kinds of things. Um, but, but, you know, like I said, just to re-emphasize, the, the refurbish is an excellent way to go and it turns out absolutely incredible. Um, oh, one, one other thing that I'll mention that, that I missed, we go through and repin the action. Um, a lot of times, the, 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 and that's a big deal, um, the hammers won't, be, won't have the right amount of friction in there and, and that causes problems after, after 100 years, of course, they've got, they've got those problems. Okay, so that's the second level, the middle level, the refurbish, and then the third one, which not all pianos are a candidate for, uh, but uh, a lot of them are, is the a la carte. And so what the reason that I call it a la carte is because it's kind of like picking from an a la carte menu, where, where I'll take this, I'll take that, and I'll take that. It really is just budget driven, um, and, and it could be, for example, some common ones, cleaning, because all these pianos are, are absolutely filthy. Uh, some regulation, maybe some hammer work, and a tuning, for example. That's a, that's a common kind of combination of, of um, a la carte work. Or some repairs, or maybe it's just um, fixing up the pedals and, and leveling the keys or redoing the key tops because they're all chipped up. We can do all of that, um, and, and I, can, I can present. This is, this is where I have people come to the shop and, and we look over the piano and determine, okay, let's do this one, this one, and this one, and that'll keep the, keep the budget um, at a certain point. So uh, before I finish up this video, I'll just, I'll just mention um, the, uh, the, the, the purpose of these, different, these three different um, uh, routes that we take. And, and it's really because uh, we're trying to cater to one, the, the, the big one is the budget. Not everybody has the full budget for the rebuild, um, as, as ideal as that would be for everybody. Um, not everybody can afford the, the rebuild. And, and then the, the second reason is, uh, is depending on expectations. Some people have very, very high expectations, and so the rebuild is appropriate. Some people have lesser expectations, so the refurbish is is um, is is good. Some people have even lower expectations. They just kind of want the piano generally functioning, and so the a la carte uh, approach is is sufficient for what they're looking for. So um, there you have it. Um, final note, just to say that uh, we're very very good at what we do. We never miss. We don't we don't stop until we are satisfied and we're certain that that the uh, the the uh, the person that we're doing the work for is also going to be satisfied with our work. Um, we know our stuff, and uh, I, I invite everyone to come into the shop. At any given time, we've got um, well over a dozen pianos underway, so we give tours all the time. So if you're considering rebuilding your, your family heirloom, or you, you like the idea of having a, a piano from, from the golden age of piano building, 1890 to 1930, uh, in your home, because it would work aesthetically or as an art piece, then please come in and, and we'll show you what we do. Um, we even have some pianos available that, that you can choose from that we can rebuild for you on commission. Thanks for watching.